What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News. And I got some new news for you um, about Gennady Golovkin and his thoughts about the substance that was found in Canelo Alvarez's system. You know, I got to take it to uh, Gennady Golovkin. You know, he's a stand-up guy. You know, he, he's, uh, he has a lot of integrity. You know, but he reminds me of of Manny Pacquiao, how Manny Pacquiao used to answer certain things. You know, he was not, he's never really rude and stuff like that, but this particular interview, man, Gennady Golovkin was just like, you know, like blatant, like, hey man, you know, what the hell? You know, you get it from me, seriously? You know, they asked him, what do you think? He said, uh, well, I think you should ask him. You know, ask Canelo, don't ask me, I'm a professional. I do what I'm supposed to do, you know? I'm, you know, I'm responsible for everything that's in my body, and he's absolutely right. Canelo Alvarez fucked up, you know, and, uh, you know, Gennady Golovkin, being the gentleman that he is, you know, and, uh, you know, he doesn't really just come at people like that, but he said it's shameful. It's shameful for the sport of boxing, you know, because he knows, man. He knows if that was, if that was him, that this fight would have been over, you know, because it, it, in the backstory it would be. It wouldn't have been a contaminated meat story. It would be, oh, aging fighter needs a re needs to take drugs to get an edge in a fight that he took had a draw with with a younger fighter. That's what it would have been, you know. And this fight would have been over. And Canelo Alvarez, I don't know what would have happened to Gen Golovkin. They probably would have stripped him of his belts. It would have been real nasty. You know what I'm saying? So Golovkin was definitely was the person with more to lose. But I am glad he's getting his fight day for the fight continuing. So, you know, but you, you look at it now, it's a lose-lose situation for Canelo right now. Because if, okay, if he goes in there and knocks out Golovkin, dude, you know that he will not get any credit for that none because they knew he had traces in the system and it's no longer it, there's no telling how long he's had it in his system okay so that was last week when they tested him which it was the beginning of march okay you had february you had january you had december you had november you had october okay and you know of course they fought in september on the 16th so you had five months to possibly be taking this shit. Nobody knows. Nobody, you know, nobody, nobody tested him in between those months. You know, they might have tested him in October or in late September after the fight. But when you're not training, you know, there's no need. So, but Golovkin, you know, if now and here's the thing: Golovkin can come up on top. If he's able to knock Canelo Alvarez out, that will put him on a higher saying of the of the higher, give him the highest payday, first of all, then give him the accolades because then he knocked out a guy that tried to cheat. You know what I mean? Then Canelo Alvarez will go out like Fernando Vargas when De La Hoya knocked him out. Because remember, De La Hoya was the older fighter in that scenario. Okay. So, you know, that would be good for Golovkin. It would be good for boxing. It would be good for, you know, karma standards. You know what I'm saying? So I would like to see that happen. I, you know, and, and, and really the fight now it's happening. It's just happening all because of the money that has nothing to do with the belts. It has everything to do with the star boxer, which is Canelo Alvarez and everyone getting paid. So, you know, for that, you know, uh, I don't know. We don't know if the if the financial gain, you know, if it's worth, you know, com compromising for the financial gain. We can only find out to see how the fight is. I hope the fight is a good fight because I am a fight fan, you know, but, you know, there's things that that need to be done. And they say they're going to do something about this after the fight happens. So we have to wait and see what that is. So we can't make a quick judgment on uh, the sanctioning bodies before that happens. OK, so. Um, of course, we can have our own predictions and our own opinions, but 
you know, just to be safe about it. You know, we need to see what they're going to do with Canelo Alvarez win, lose, or draw. Or win, lose, and another draw. All right. So, uh, but Gennady Golovkin, you know, he made his statement known. And he still did it in a way that, you know, uh, that he could save face. You know, he, he you could tell he was frustrated because, you know, he didn't do anything wrong. He did everything right. You know, and, and people say what they want to say about some of the elite fighters. The same talks was about Golovkin. You know, oh, is he juicing? He's never failed a drug test. Everyone talks shit about Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao had never failed a drug test. Floyd Mayweather. People talked about Floyd Mayweather, his ex-girlfriend. Oh, I've seen testosterone pills in it. He never tested positive for it, so there's no proof of the matter. Canelo Alvarez did. So Canelo Alvarez separates himself from being one of the superstars in the sport, sadly, and putting himself in a darker category, you know, with guys like Jose Resto uh, and Antonio Margarito, Sugar Shane Mosley, you know, uh, uh, Prevected, these guys, Alexander Prevected. A lot of these guys, you know, now, you know, he gets thrown in this category by default. And um, so I don't know how he can come from this because that follows you. And, um, you know, but again, you know, we'll see what the sanctioning body say about this particular issue. And uh, I wish both fighters well. And uh, you guys tell me what you think about what Gennady Golovkin said and what his remarks was. And uh, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.